All right, what you see here is a Hampton Bay woodwind ceiling fan. These are pretty big childhood fans for me, which is the main reason why I got this. Another reason why is that these are very seldom seen, as they were only sold for about a year or two. So, when I saw this on Marketplace, I gra grabbed it immediately, because I've been trying to find one of these for quite some time now. What really contributed into these being big childhood fans was, for me was... The two of them that are at the Sam Willows at the pizza place. Uh, that unfortunately replaced a Bright Brass Hunter Original with four week configuration and a either a Summer Breeze, a Passport, or a Mayfair, one of the two. And I'm thinking it was like a Summer Breeze or a Passport 2 that replaced the other original. I never saw the other one, but I'm assuming it replaced it all, from, I'm guessing. So, yeah. When that pizza place closed down, they replaced them with these, which... In my opinion, I think these do look nicer for a restaurant, especially when it's kind of near the beach and stuff, having an older feel to it. Especially the glass on it definitely looks very antique looking. But the blades are very unique looking as well, which is what I really like about these. But um, yeah, it's in the oil rub bronze finish. They only came in this finish. However, as you can tell, the motor is basically one of those mix and match motors that they had for the special owner fans back in the day. The fan dates to August of 2004, though I think these came out in 2005 or 2006. The ones that are at the same models were put up around 2006, 2007. But um, yeah, I've always liked the look of this, even if, especially if it had four blades, I think it would look really cool. Just a very unique looking fan, in my opinion. But um, yeah, there's the Hampton Bay logo right there. I tried to rearrange the um canopy to have it so the logo would face more in the front but the screws that are holding the canopy in are too tight to the point where they would strip if I tried to unscrew them so I'm just going to leave it exactly the way it is. I really do like these rods that go out for the pole chains and such. It's definitely a really nice look. Now these are not damp rated unfortunately. I feel like these would have been a nice fan that they made for outdoor use. But, um, yeah, for a kitchen, or like a screen, like a sunroom or some sort, I feel like these would look perfect in there. That actually would look really good in my dad's sunroom at his new place that he got. But obviously, I'm not going to give this up. But, um, yeah, for, back to the mix and match fans that Hampton Bay sold back in the early 2000s, or the early to mid 2000s. There was something that you can basically buy that, would, that you can buy any motor design that you want. And any blade pattern with her without a light and such. And this was basically a mix and match one that they sold specifically in the stores. That wasn't a special order one. But um, yeah, it's exactly the same type of motor on it. It's just, it has a set of blades that came custom with it. And from my knowledge, these blades were never part of these mix and match series. So it was kind of a exclusive to Home Depot in the stores and such on a special order model. But, um, yeah. It's in pretty good shape. Aside for the blades, have some scratches on them here and there. And they are not MDF. They are actual wood. And that's something I've always liked about these carved wood blades from Hampton Bay. That they actually did use real wood on them. I don't know if they're not the highest quality wood. At least they're not MDF. And, um, yeah. And I'll show it to white. Yeah, I, I mean, I really was bummed when they replaced the original and that other Brass Hunter, that pizza place with two of these, but at least they replaced them with something that I felt looked really good with a pizza place. Especially because they were trying to give it a more of an antique look to the place, having more vintage pictures. And not that the fans didn't look vintage, but I mean, the white that this has on it definitely gives it more of an antique look, I feel. Alright, now to shop the white and do a lighting test. It lights up the space decently. I mean, it just has one light bulb in it. Nothing amazing, but not nothing bad either. But, um, yeah.
right? Not for low speed. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, it's definitely a thing that I've always liked the look of. I wish they sold them for a little bit longer and or they sold them in different finishes as well, but at least they made them like this in general. I do wish that there were more fan blades that were like this. I think these are the only ones I've seen that look like, have like that fence look or like a, like a outside chair look to it and such. But yeah, honestly, my favorite parts about the fan is the glass on it and the blades. The motor itself is nothing really anything special, but I definitely feel it complements the fan pretty well. I mean, the motor kind of does have like a hunter look to it and such from that t time period, from it early to mid 2000s and such. Kind of looks like the Hunter Jamestown or the um, the Alcove too and such. One thing I always found about the ones at the same windows is that when when they replaced the two previous fans, they both had the Hunter original canopies on them still. Though I don't remember seeing that on the five weighted one that wasn't an original. I remember having a standard 90s Hunter Canopy on it. Pretty sure that one might, might have been a Passport too, because I don't remember it looking at skinny more housing on it like a Summer Breeze and such. But I remember the original, the um, canopy on it was had fallen down, it like loosened up. It wasn't like that fell off the fan completely, it was just like it was lowered. All the way to the bottom, basically. So I'm wondering if maybe they had that spare canopy for the other original lying around somewhere and they just decided to use the two of them. Well, had there, there been two black originals with the schoolhouse gloves that they still have a original, I feel like that would be an even more epic install. But at least these ones look decent. The ones that they have, they look decent for the space. And like if they're going to put any newer fan that to have a, it's like a cheaper grade fan and such that has an antique look of sorts or something that will go with an antique look, I honestly would pick the same exact fan. So it's going to get a decent breeze on the bottom. I mean, it's quiet, it's not making a lot of noise, which is nice. I think it would be the best, the good thing to test, right, as summer's starting to wrap up and such. Definitely gets like a bar and grill feel, or like a cookout feel to it and such. Yeah, this, like if I was to install this somewhere, it would definitely be like in a sunroom. Not that it would look bad in the kitchen, it's just the blades I feel would be a pain to clean if it was installed in the kitchen. That's just my own reason why I wouldn't put it in the kitchen. A dining room maybe, but not, probably not a kitchen. That has a very nice look to it on the low speed with the white on. Alright, now for medium. Now, it's wonderful I like those two rods on, they kind of make it a little bit trickier to pull the chain 
and such. I can really kind of impede the function of the protein just a, just a tiny bit. Nothing serious though. Yeah, I'm not sure what size motor it uses. Um, might be 153, 172. I don't. I really doubt it's a 188 motor. But for it to be one of the special order ones, I'm, I'm assuming it's not a 153 motor. I had to look back at the um, special order mix and match catalogs. I know it would use the same exact motor as that. But I remember they were supposed to be one of the more better performing NBA fans of the time as well. Like on, on like par with like the hand to make Zebo and such. Like it's not bad, but not great. But it's like on, I like it's a decent performer for what you can get like at a showroom and such. But it actually has a nice looking set of blades that are hand carved, but it actually performs well. It's not something that's very sluggish. I've never seen the ones that the pizza place on high speed. But I mean, I'm not surprised because it's a pizza place. And, and people usually don't want a very strong beast hitting them while they're eating food. Usually they're always on low. I don't think I've ever seen them on medium. Unless the one that goes a little bit faster was on medium and such. Like the shame like they didn't sell them too well. I really think probably they were really cool looking fans. Just maybe they just didn't sell too well. That's in my own guess that they stopped selling them. But they did sell something similar toward afterwards, like around 2007, 2008. That looked very similar to this. 2008-ish, 2009-ish. But it didn't last that long either. Pretty sure it's in the 2007, 2008 catalog. Or one of the two. I just don't remember the name of it, though. There was another similar thing that they sold around 2007 to 2008 that I really liked the look of. It was like 2008, 2009 era. Um, it had three lights on it. It was like a rock looking fan of sorts. I, a lot of people probably know what I'm talking about. I just don't remember the name of it, but that was one I always liked and would love to have at some point as well. And it was selling pretty well at the time too. I'm, I'm surprised it didn't last that long either. Either they didn't last long or they moved it to be an online order thing. But it had like a stone looking motor housing to it. Like actual stone look to it. Not like a finish wise, it's like the actual motor housing was like a stone. It had like a, a blackish looking switch housing and metal parts. And the blades had like an outline on them too. But um, yeah, it's moving a good amount of air on medium. That's a bit of a hum to it, but it's nothing major. I mean, most of the hint base I've tested down here, they have a little bit of a hum to them. Thankfully, on this one, it's nothing severe. Yeah, I remember the house that I got out of. Was, it was a pretty small house, but um, the ceilings worked pretty well, so I can definitely see why they took it out. It was over the um, dining room table, from what I remember. I'm telling me. I mean, what makes it hang a bit well is the glass, but also the more housing being a bit larger than a typical fan that would hang it on a flush mount ceiling and such. So they said they liked the fan, it's just they didn't 
We didn't want to get it damaged and such. Yeah, medium speed. I'm feeling a definitely good breeze off of it. All right, now for high. All right, so it's not going extremely fast. It's about like a, a little bit slower than your typical high speed. It's not bad, but I'm definitely feeling a breeze off of it at least. It is making an interesting sound though with the blades. Probably because of the um the pattern on it and such. I know I have another hand card fan on that Buckhead Bow Hunter that my dad gave to me. It's one of those John Marshall things they sold like at Bass Pro Shops or something like that. I know the hand, hand to me Antigua is one that's pretty famous as well. And that one I actually like. It's just finding, I got, it's kind of hard to find one in good shape that's not so droopy already. I definitely would love to find one. One in each finish, the um, Flemish brass one, I think it was called, the antiquish white one with the white, the brush nickel one with the white, any order of bronze one with the white, I really liked how those looked. Even the brass one, um, I really liked how that one looked with the white, but you had, that was a separate thing, so to find one of those with the white is kind of tricky. I think they still sell one of them to this day. But, um, I do remember they made the um they made forty four inch ones as well, which I I I've never seen those in person or I don't think anybody's even I don't think I've seen anybody post pictures of them, sighting wise. But I've always was interested in how the smaller ones performed. All right, you know, for the air movement. I'd say it's like a typical home center air movement. It's not amazing, but it's not bad either. I definitely say it's a decent performer. It's definitely no like spin about a hunter air movement or Casablanca. I'd say it's about like on par like a hunter coastal breeze or something like that. It's kind of, kind of interesting. I feel like if they, if some companies were to try this blade approach like they did back in the day, if it would sell a lot or not, especially with like the, the barn wood trend. Like if you do do it with like more modern finishes blade wise, if it would be a big thing or not. I always thought that if they did something like this with like a Hunter original, it would look really cool. I know Casablanca had like some sort of like boy sets that were not like this, they were more like the leafy ones or the uh, wicker ways that they'd sell for some of them. Like as a set you can buy. Like for the whaley and such. I mean I'm I'm feeling a good breeze from it over here. Nothing super strong, but it's definitely moving some air around without a question.
you know, for like, no, I could definitely say I don't think it would be strong enough for my dad's sunroom. It wouldn't be bad, but it's just, considering that it's not moving a whole lot of air. You'd mostly be afraid if you're like underneath it for the most part. It spreads it around a lot, yeah, but I probably want something just a tiny bit stronger in there. But that's just me. But again, these are pretty hard to come by, so I wouldn't want to spare this one and not risk not getting it back type thing. It also be the heat today, then. Like, it's not super hot down here, but... I don't know, it just feels like it's moving away. Sorry about that, my phone actually ran out of battery. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead and shut off the fan. First, light in the fan. I'll put it on reverse. And then I'll, let's go ahead and do spin down. Yeah, I definitely feel it's at least a 173 or 153 motor. It's definitely not 188 motor. Yeah, it's definitely a very obscure fan with the blaze and the light on it and such. There's my dog upstairs just walking around. All right, it's coming to a complete stop. Now to show it on reverse. I say it is kind of interesting to see an oil rod bronze fan from as early as 2004 because that wasn't really a finish that was a big trend like it is nowadays. Alright, not shut the light. All right, now for medium. All right, now for high. Definitely seems to go a bit slower on reverse.
All right. So, um, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.